Hey everyone, it's Archangel bringing you guys another update on the BioCube this time. Um, I wanted to show everyone how I hooked up my Aquamedic uh, Reef Doser uh, for the BioCube. Uh, as you can see, everything's doing fine. But this video is going to be a little different. Um, I didn't video it, I took pictures, so I'm going to uh, play the slideshow and narrate, narrate it as I go along. All right, so the first thing I did was I cleaned it up a little bit with my paper towels, plugged it in, and flushed out whatever chemicals were already in the dosers. All right, the next thing I did was I went to my RO unit, and I cut off about three extra feet that I had and I wasn't using. That way I could play around with this new doser. Remember, if you're setting up one of these Aquamedics for yourself, you have to remember to remove the little plastic cap off the threaded end. Slide that threaded end over your plastic tubing, slide that over the piece that's already there, and screw the cap back on. And once the cap is on, it should look like this. The next thing I'm going to do is clean the three dosers uh, by programming it to turn on and off uh, for about 10 seconds and repeat every one minute. To enter the programming mode, you're going to have to press adjust and set simultaneously. After that, you're going to press set and enter simultaneously, and that will select the first pump for programming. The first four numbers represent the hours and minutes that the pump will turn on. So here's where I'm going to reset the timer for 00, zero as the hours and 01 as the minutes so I can flush it out. To change the value of the number that you see on the screen, you're going to have to press adjust, and in my case, you're going to keep pressing it until you see zero. To move to the next number, you're going to press set. Once you've programmed all four numbers, press set again and all four numbers should flash and press enter. So now that we've programmed the pump on how often we want it to turn on, now we need to tell it how long to stay on. Now this pump has six numbers, but you can only show four numbers at a time. So the first two are going to be for the hours, the second two is going to be for the minutes, and the last two are going to be for the seconds. You're going to program it the same way that we just programmed how, how often we want it to turn on. So all I've done was I programmed it to stay on for just about 12 seconds. Press enter when you're done, and the pump will be set. Now don't forget, as soon as you press enter on that last step, it's going to automatically turn on and start its timer from right there. So what I've done here is I put the doser on top of a one gallon jug that I cut the top off of, and then I put the other end of the tubing into some fresh water, that way it could flush out the system. I couldn't find in the instruction manual how much fluid that this doser would dose in a given amount of time. So all I did was I put a beaker right under the uh, outflow and measured it over 12 seconds. Alright, let's get to the exciting part now, mounting the doser. I've gone to my garage and I've gotten two screws and put them about four and a half inches apart. Alright, here's a quick tip. Now everyone knows that motors and wood uh, don't mix, they create a lot of vibration and noise. If you've watched my last videos on my 12 gallon, you notice that I put this tool mat under the tank to help keep everything quiet. So all I did was I cut two holes and put that where the screws were. And there it is, another piece of exciting equipment on this BioCube system making my life that much easier when it goes to automating this aquarium. And just in case you guys were wondering what chemical I started dosing, it is Reef Foundation B by Red Sea. I'm dosing about 10 milliliters a day to keep my alkalinity at about 8.3 DKH. Now thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And this is going to be Archangel signing out.